Hi guys, this is the Stream Lord Carl. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you my review of episode 21 of the Goldbergs of season one of the Goldbergs. Punch drunk, punch drunk Barry, punch drunk Barry, and brewing for Drew. Drawing for Drew. So here we go, guys. I love this episode because, again, it's a two-sided episode. A two-sided episode. So on the first side, we have we have Erica, who has who has fallen who has fallen deeply, deeply, madly in love, or deeply, 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 uh, fallen in puppy love, puppy love, puppy love with 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 Drew Kremp, her next. Chad Crimp's next Chad Crimp's Chad Chad Crimp's older brother. Adam Adam's best friend's older brother, Drew Crimp. Drew Crimp. And in typical fashion in typical fashion, Eric falls falls deeply falls very hard very hard for Drew. She's he she was hit by she was hit by a by a red steel chair of love when it comes to Drew. And so and then typically and and I'm not sure if they if if you guys still do this or if if you guys if you if you guys still do this guys and girls if you and I'm not sure if you accept this 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 form of a of a date date day proposal back in the day, and I'm pretty sure that they still do it today. So again, Erica was hit by a a red love steel chair, and she was he she fell deep. He was drooling over Drew, but 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 to make it official. To make, to make it official that Drew, that Drew and Eric were making, were going, 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 go, going straight in a straight line into a relationship. Drew decided, Drew decided to give his, give his le Leatherman, le Leatherman jacket to Eric. Or, or to be, to be more specific. Erica Dorothy. Erica Dorothy. Eric. Erica Dorothy Goldberg. Yes. Erica's full name is Erica Thor Dor Dor Dorothy. Dor Dorothy Dorothy. Like the Wizard of Oz. Goldberg. Until everything was going great. Erica was feeling Feeling super, super, super happy, super happy, which again was totally, totally unnormal, un, un Erica like. Adam and Barry and, and everyone, everyone else, everyone else at home was calling it the time of the time of peace, the time of happiness and peace, until that. Time of peace was 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 halted by Drew by Drew Kremp when one day after school after school Drew that that total hunk of a neighbor that total hunk of a neighbor dumped dumped poor Erica out of nowhere after school so so what did Erica do start start crying. Start crying hysterically, like she had, like she, like she had, like she had been, like she had been considered, considered as a, as a blouse, a pretty, pretty blouse, pretty blouse, murder, pretty blouse, sub, pretty blouse, uh, assassin, slash murder in a pretty blouse, murder investigation by. By the Jenkintown Police Department. 
And the only one, and the only one, ironically, this is a, an irony of, of, of funny proportions, and ironically, the only person that could understand, that could only, that could under, that could understand Erica's weeping language, or weeping, weeping, weeping language was Barry. Yes, Barry was used to this type of of emotion because he has felt this type of emotion before, and he's not, and again he had and he has been rejected by pretty pretty girls at school like Lexi like Lexi Bloom for example like Lexi Bloom. So in a, so to keep it short and sweet, guys, Barry Barry told Barry Barry told Beverly. And Murray, that in fact, that the that yes, in fact, that the fact is that Erica was crying, weeping the truth out of her eyes. That yes, Drew dumped dumped Erica out of nowhere after school, and that's why she need, and that's why she was, and that's why she was acting. That's why she was weeping and inconsolable. And that, she, and also that, also, also that she needed some hot, hot, uh, hot, and comforting, a hot, comforting cup of tea to calm her down. So after hearing this, after hearing, after after hearing. Her, her baby girl crying. Beverly just barely went into mom, 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 bear mode and went to ask, went to ask mom's, Drew's mom, Drew's mom, what's, what was the, what was the reason why, why, uh, Drew dumped her, dumped her sweet little Erica after school. And again, Drew's mom, Drew, Drew, Drew Cram's mom is, is, uh, Beverly, Beverly's best friend, Virginia. Virginia Cram, and of course, and of course, <clears throat> and of course, Virginia Cram did not give a satisfactory, satisfactory explanation to her best friend, Beverly, on why Drew, her son, dumped her, dumped her, dumped, dumped her, Beverly's sweet, sweet little girl's heart, and basically threw, threw, uh, threw, threw, threw barbed wire darts, darts into Erica's heart, and slash broke, broke it. And the only explanation that that uh, that Virginia Crump could give Beverly, her best friend, was that that was that uh was that Drew needed some time. Needed some time to think. He needed some time to explore, explore, explore. You know, be someone out. Be someone. Outside of Erica, beside, be be someone outside or outside of outside of its relationship with Erica. Until one, until one day, when when Erica was just crying her eyes out, was still crying her out, cr crying her eyes out in her room, and she hadn't, she hadn't, she hadn't called, she hadn't called. called she hadn't called or made fun of. She hadn't called or made fun of Barry or or Adam in days, in days, and she hadn't smiled. She hadn't been, and she hadn't been fighting with Barry, which again was totally un unnatural, un unnatural for for Erica to be this way, not to fight with. Not to not to fight with bear not to fight with not to fight not to fight with her mom over 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 funny
funny and funny stuff. That was not not what like her. So that's how it. So that's how. It, so that's how. So so that that's how we got. So that's how. So this is where it ends for now. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, on the other side, uh, on the second side of this, of this two, of this two-sided episode, we have Pops, Adam, and Barry. Pops is very cool. Like, like I told you before, is totally awesome. And what makes him more awesome than he than he already is? He takes he takes Barry, Barry and Adam to the arcade. To the arcade, in the mall, to the mall, in the mall, in the mall, and Barry, Barry and Adam, are in their natural, are their, are in their natural happy, happy place, happy place, where, where, for, for once, for once, they have something in common. They love, they love arcade, arc, arcade games slash slash video games. Until one, one, one fateful, fateful, funny day, Barry, Barry and Adam are, are at the arcade and they're playing, they're playing, they're all, they're, they're, they're playing the same, they're, they're playing, they're playing their, their same, their same game, 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 game room, meaning, the, meaning the same, the same games that they that they play that they have played until again until until that fate until that fateful funny day when a new arcade game comes into the comes into the arcade and that game that game is that game is called that game is Punch Out, which I bet you guys I bet you guys and girls have and girls have played. Before, but anyway, Punch Out has every everything everything that that Barry is that Barry is. It's athletic. It's it's athletic. Athletic, which Barry thinks thinks that he has a athletic athletic way a way about about himself. It's it's something to do with sport because bo- because boxing boxing is a sport. Unlike, unlike, unlike the, unlike what we saw, what we saw on Netflix, on Netflix, with my, Mike Tyson and, and, and Jake, 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 I, Jake, and Jake, and Jake, and Jake, I want to, and Jake, the one be blonde, blonde Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. Yes, I went. I went there. Logan. Logan Paul. Yes, I went there. Logan Paul. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna sue me? You are nothing. You are both of you. Both your brother. Both your brother. Both. Both your brother and you. Are nothing like Eddie Guerrero. You will, you, you are nothing like Eddie Guerrero. You are nothing like Eddie Guerrero. I give you props. You're good at you're good at things. But come on, Jake, you're not like Eddie Guerrero. You're not like Eddie Guerrero. Stop pretending to be like Eddie Guerrero. You don't own a little writer like Eddie Guerrero. You don't even have the moxie. Of Eddie Guerrero. But anyway. But any, anyway. So. Barry starts. Starts playing. Punch it. And punch out. Like. 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 Like normal. When you get excited for a new. For a new. For, for a new game. You. You constantly. You constantly play it every day. But unlike. But unlike, but unlike, but unlike the normal and ha- the normal and healthy healthy excitement, 
that a new video game brings to you or brings brings to you and me. Punch out, punch out, punch out becomes an becomes a a a ghostly a a a a ghost a ghost a a spooky a spooky uh a turkey a turkey a turkey a a gaming turkey a gaming turkey a gaming turkey and tough to to stuff it out meaning meaning for Barry it was hard to it was hard for it is hard for him to stop stop playing it and getting addict addicted to it and that's what exactly and that, and that's in a funny twist of fate that's exactly that's exactly what happens to to Barry he gets punch drunk punch drunk punch drunk because of punch out and he and Barry has to resort 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 to to ask Pops for mo for mo for more money than Pops, but Pop says no. I'm not. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm going to. I'm going to unpenny me. Unpenny you, which me meaning I'm gonna cut you up. I'm gonna cut you off. And Barry has to resort to find. To find pennies and quarters deep inside or deep inside the couch until one day Barry becomes so so desperate and so desperate and so punch drunk punch drunk and attack and it, and can't get himself unattached un unattached unattached and uh, unattached from from punch out that he that he that he that he sold that he sells the Manel Adams Manelian 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 Falcon Manelian Falcon Adams Manelian Falcon Han Solo's Han Solo and Han Solo's and Chewbacca's spaceship. A replica, a toy rep, a an awesome toy re replica, replica of the Millennium Falcon that Adam has. Of course, of course, Adam finds out, but when Adam finds out that Barry had Barry had done Barry had sold the the Millennium Falcon, Barry was on a on a hot on a hot hot sauce hot sauce the hot sauce. Hot sauce of a winning streak, winning streak, winning streak on in Punch Out. That he was that he was gathering a crowd of 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 viewers at the arcade until until Adam unplugged it, unplugged his um un unplugged his punch punch punched unplugged Barry's um Barry's Punch Out Punch Out. Punch out record out of his hands. So meanwhile, meanwhile, as as Barry was getting unplugged or un unplugged from his punch punch drunk state by Adam, Erica was still just just crying, crying in ocean, crying in ocean. Over crying and o crying crying an ocean because of Drew. Until un until a few days went went by, and then Barry then sorry Beverly 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 said to Eric, "Hey hey hey sweetie." You need to go out, and I have the perfect, I have the perfect person, person for you to make, to make Drew, to make Drew jealous. 
super jealous. Super jealous. Super, super jealous enough that he might, he might throw, throw a, a, a steel chair at your date. At your date. And your date that I picked out, that I picked out was the son of our, of my podiatrist. Or of my, or of our podiatrist, which, who was, who was a college, a college dude, a, a college hunk, so, 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 uh, so, Erica took, took her, took her, took the family, took the family podiatrist, podiatrist son's son to a to a Japanese restaurant where where ironically Laney 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 Erica's best friend was was there was there waiting 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 for and an iro and in another ironic tw funny twist Drew whoa Drew and her uh, Drew and his new girl girlfriend were at this were at this Japanese restaurant. So everything was going great until, until um, un until Erica's college hunk ordered ordered a ordered a, ordered ordered a, ordered a cup of of sake, which is a Japanese rice wine, rice. Rice wine. Andrew Andrew pointed out that it, at the table next to them, in the t sitting down, sitting down at the next table were two cops. And again, Erica and Lainey, Lainey were still in, were still in high, were still in, are still in high school. That became a mess. Erica's hunk of a date was, was, was handcuffed and was going to, going to jail. Was going to jail, going to jail. Erica's college hunk, college hunk, explained to the, explained to the, to the police that he, he was just out on a date, out on a date, out on a date. With Erica, just be, just because his his dad was the family, the the family's podiatrist. That's it. Then Erica saw Drew hunky hunky her former, her former, her former, her former, her former, her former, her her former. Her for, former, her used to be her former Taylor Lochner, Drew Krimp, walk out of the restaurant with with his new his new dudette girlfriend, and Erica said said I I. I, I I love you I love you and 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 Andrew turned around and said what like come again and Erica, and Erica said nothing so then so then Murray Murray appe Murray appe Murray Murray appeared and stepped up and said to Erica me your mom and me, your mom and me, didn't know who would you, be, who would you be more, 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 uh, more, more, uh, more angry, angry, hot sauce, angry, mad at. So, I, I decided, I, I told your mom that I would come and get you. And talk to you. 
So guys, actually, Marie and Erica had a very, very, very good talk. Very good talk. To keep it short and sweet, to keep it short, guys, funny and short, Murray said, Drew, Drew, Drew was, Drew, yes, he was your first boyfriend. And your first heartbreak. But you're going to find someone, maybe not today, maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe in three weeks, or later, someone that loves you for who you are. And you will get over, and you will get over Drew. You will get over Drew. You will get over Drew and you won't be Drew blind, Drew blind anymore. But not, but obviously not, not right now. But eventually you will stop being, stop drooling over Drew. And after this talk, Marie and Erica got something extra out of their talk. Fried rice. So, that was it. That was it. Erica, in, in time, Murray was right. Erica, one day just, just forgot, just forgot about Drew and moved on. And she was back to, she was back to her old self, her old big sister, Big sister, big sister self, big sister self of Adam and Barry. Meanwhile, meanwhile, for poor Barry, he he realized that he he was just he he was just crashing down, cra cra crashing down like Netflix did with the. With, with, with Mike Tyson, with the fight, with the bot, with the fight, with, with the fight of Mike Tyson and and Jake Paul, and he, and he decided to give give Adam, 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 his Manila regain. Adam Manelian Manelian Falcon, Manelian Manelian Falcon from from the guy from the guy that he had sold it to. But that wasn't the end of Barry and Punch Out, because in a in a fun in a funny surprise, in a fun heartwarming surprise, Pops had bought had had bought. And installed a a boxing boxing punch punching bag punching bag so Barry so Barry could feel the real the real sensation of what what the real what punch out really feel how punch out real feet really how punch out real really feels really feels and and to be honest you guys. Barry, Barry was punching, punching that, that boxing, uh, punching, punching glove that he, like he was, like he was Rocky. So with that, so with that guys, this, this is how, this wonderful and Drewy, 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 uh, Drewy episode, episode of season one. Season one of the Goldbergs of the Goldbergs ends. So with that being so with that being said, guys, let me know. Let me know in in the comments below if you want to. What parts? What what parts? What what was your favorite part of this episode? And and if you were a boxer in Punch Out, what 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 would your what would your name what would what would you call yourself? What, what would your name be, in, in Punch Out? With that, with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and.
Wakanda forever. Bye.